uh, the button and it'll say recording. What's going on guys? So today I'm installing another little present I got for the RX-8. Got me some modded knuckles. Got this from a guy over in Cali. His name's Tanner. I'll put his uh, Instagram. He kind of started a page called RX-8 Drift Knuckles. So uh, go check them out on Instagram. Put the links right there. Uh, he's modded a few knuckles. And uh, he's getting, I think I saw on his post about 55 degrees without any lower control arms or anything like that. So it's going to give the RX-8 just a little bit more angle to have fun with. Alright, let's do a little bit of a before angle. And that is that way. So these are just modded knuckles, no lower control arm or anything like that. Alright, got the wheel off. So next step is what I'm going to do. Take off the brake caliper, the rotor, um, tie rod, upper control arm, bottom control arm from the knuckle. Pull all that off and then swap, take everything off the old knuckle, the hub, and put it on the new knuckle. And then reverse order everything back together. So should be fairly straightforward install. I'll just have to adjust the tie rod so I don't have crazy toe. So I'm going to get started with getting this brake, caliper, and pad off. Or caliper and rotor. Two caliper bolts. One on top, one on bottom. They are 17 millimeter. And then moved on to the tie rod end. 17. Pops right out, obviously. Tip a little bit more than that. Boom. Next, working on the top control arm mount and then the bottom, and then I'm pulling this off. Yeah. Alright, got the knuckle off. So, 17, 19. You can get yourself one of these. This, uh, this came in handy. Kind of ripped up a boot, so might have to get a new one and uh, fill that full of grease. But, uh, Knuckles off, so next, you can take out these four bolts and hopefully transfer this whole hub over to the new knuckle and send it. Woo! There we go. Nice. So this is where the tie rod end goes. Yeah, yeah. Just so we can make sure. Uh, all right. I don't know. I don't know. Who cares if you were? All right. We got it out. Took a little bit of uh, prying and stuff. Use some little whatever those fucking things are. But yeah, this one's off, so time to put the hub in the new knuckle. Alright, so you can see where the tie rod end goes. It's quite a bit shorter, so should help me uh, get a little bit more angle out of the car. Pro tip, don't uh, hammer your bolts. 
bad idea. But it's on. Woo, let's put it back on. All right, got it on. And as you can see, tie rod end is pushed out pretty far, so I'm gonna loosen that up and suck it in. And then get started on the other one, and then make a toe adjustment from there. So at this point, it's just pretty much reverse put together. Yeah, that's how you install this knuckle on the RX-8. Any questions, let me know. I'll have some after of the angle that I got, so. All right guys, done with the, the knuckle install. Um, a couple days later, I actually took it out to an event in Topeka. Um, I loved it, it was awesome. Totally worth it if you're gonna drift the eight, in my opinion. Uh, the first event that I had, it was a nightmare to be honest. And uh, with the knuckles and then the coilovers, it really settled things down. Uh, obviously more angles, so I wasn't spinning out as much. So uh, I'm gonna give you a little after view of uh, the angle. That you can achieve. Alrighty, hopefully that little snid bit was good enough for you, but obviously a lot more than uh, stock for sure. Like fun would you earn, nigga? So can't win a hand back. Seventeen thirty-eight. Sorry, hey, fun, nigga.